Now, the next part of this particular activity is to make the data more visible by putting certain pictorial representation or a charts. We have already done this particular part when I was teaching you about charts. Now, as you are able to see, highlight the categories and their total in the summary table and insert a pie chart. Now, this is the categories and their total. So, first of all, you remember whenever we were inserting a chart, clearly it was mentioned that first thing is that you have to select the data. So, I have selected the data. Now, where to go for inserting a chart? I will go in insert option chart. You will be able to see that it will take certain time, but the chart will be made over there. By default, it is pie chart. Then, if you require to move somewhere, just close this particular part. Try to move the chart somewhere. Scroll it down. The chart is very big. I'll try to decrease it and then move it at the corner. So, you are able to see that maximum of my amount goes in one of the thing that is rent. It occupies 63.3. 62.3 percentage of the income then the second category it is restaurant then the third category it is entertainment and so on so via doing this particular part we are able to see exactly where we are required to manage our expenses so in this particular manner you are able to insert a chart you can insert any of the other chart just by clicking on edit the charts and then representing different types of information over here see over here you are able to see rent is the most then again restaurant rent from here we uh, will get to know exactly what are the different expenses that we are doing and what requires to be managed or controlled properly so that we are able to just survive for a particular month